Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this super easy floral nail art and this is going to be perfect for spring. Now for this design I used Magpie products and they were kind enough they gave me a discount code to share with you guys to get 10% off and the discount code is KLOVESYOU10 for 10% and I will put that up in the screen so you can see how to spell it and this discount code is good through March 1st so if you want to use it make sure you place your orders now and get it in before March 1st if you don't get a chance to use it during that time then make sure you're following me on my social media because I'll always post when I have discount codes on there for you guys and this is for the Magpie USA website and they ship to the US and Canada so to start off let me show you the products that I used for this look I used the color cotton candy which is a really pretty baby pink and I used their new gel paints. I used the red, the white, and the green. The green is perfect for leaves. It's already the perfect color. I'm kind of used to having to mix my own green for leaves to get that perfect shade, but this green is already the perfect shade. I didn't have to do any mixing for that, so that's pretty cool. And then I also used their new baby pink leaf, which is like a leaf foil almost like a gold leaf except it's pink and I've never seen another company have other colors of leaves so this is pretty cool and this is brand new. I also used a dotting tool. The dotting tool that I have is super old so it's a little grungy if you notice it's very well loved and I used a tiny detailer brush. I used the one from Young Nails that I just had in my drawer. And then for finishing, I used the Magpie Give Me Strength and their Don't Be Tacky No Wipe Top Coat, which I think you've seen me use in my past tutorials if you have watched them. If you have not seen them, definitely check those out and make sure to subscribe. So to start off, I am doing two coats of that Cotton Candy Gel Color and there, the Magpie gel colors need a 60 second cure, so make sure that you cure it for 60 seconds each coat, and I'm gonna put two coats of this on the tip. Next, I'm taking that red gel paint and I'm using my dotting tool. I'm using the little bit bigger side, and I'm just making circles all over the nail. These are gonna be the little roses. You could do it like I'm doing it all over the nail, or you could just do a couple, like a little accent of some florals or roses in the corner of the nail. That would also be really cute. So I'm just making these circles. They do not have to be perfect circles. In fact, it almost looks better when they're not perfect circles because flowers are not perfect. Each flower is different. So I am just placing these circles all over the nail. So I'm actually not gonna cure this before I move on to the next step. So you wanna make sure you leave these wet and do not cure them yet. Now I'm going in with the white gel paint. You wanna make sure it doesn't have to be white, but you do wanna make sure that it's enough of a contrast between the color that you put on before this. So um, I wouldn't do like a red and like a very similar like orange red for the details. You wanna make sure it's gonna contrast and you'll actually be able to see the details of the rose. So I'm using a little bit of that white gel paint and I'm putting it on a palette, which Magpie also has these palettes. And I'm actually taking the detailer brush and I am putting a little dot in the middle of the circle and then I'm just going around a couple swipes around and it will mix with the red a little bit, that's fine. It gives it a little bit more uh, depth, but this is actually gonna make it just look like there's little petals of this flower. So I'm gonna do this step on all of these little circles and then I am going to make sure and cure that. Now I am taking a little bit of that green gel paint on my palette again and the same brush and I'm going to start making little leaves off of each rose. And I really think adding leaves and greenery to a flower makes it look like a flower. Like honestly, 
If you left these by themselves, some people might get that they're flowers, but it's really those like green leaves that make it pop and make it actually look like a rose. So don't be afraid to add green to the nails. I just always feel like adding a leaf to a flower makes it really look like a flower and looks a little bit more realistic, I guess. Not that these are realistic. So I'm adding, you know, just kind of play with it. I add two here, two there, maybe one on one side of the rose and one on the other. Just kind of play around and see what you like. Once I'm happy with the way that the leaves look, I am going to cure that and I'm gonna add some of that baby pink leaf in between the roses. Now, the I was debating between the red and the pink. They did just come out with the red and the pink together, but I decided to go with the pink so that the red flowers would stand out. And this leaf will stick directly to the inhibition layer or the tacky layer of gel. So I just place a little bit in the cap and kind of like break it up a little bit and it'll just stick to whatever you are using to apply it to the nail. So I'm just using my dotting tool and just placing little random bits in between all of the flowers. And I think it just adds that extra little shiny touch. I don't know, I, I just love, I feel like any design that I do, I have to add some sort of either gold or silver or rose gold, something to kind of just complete it. So I really like the way this leaf, it looks, it's super pretty. Again, I've never seen a pink leaf or colored leaf besides like your normal gold and silver and rose gold. So I'm super excited that Magpie came out with these. I can't wait to play with them a little bit more. So again, these stick directly to the tacky layer of gel. So you just kind of press them on. And then once you're happy with that, I'm going to go over with the Magpie Give Me Strength, which is a little bit of a thicker gel polish and that's just going to seal them in really nicely and smooth out the design really nicely if you don't have the give me strength you can always do two layers of top coat or you can you can just do one generous layer of top coat just to make sure that those foil leaves are really well sealed over so i'm going to apply the give me strength and then after that i'm going to cure that and apply the don't be tacky magpies no wipe top coat and then that look is going to be done. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a fun floral look that anybody can do and it's not gonna be too terribly time consuming either. So make sure and follow me on all of my social media. If you recreate this, make sure to tag me. I love to see your guys' recreations and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you did want to get any of the Magpie items, I have my code KLOVESYOU10 for 10% off, and I will put everything in the description below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.